One of the great things I love about squid fishing is there's such a huge range of jigs on the market and so many little bits and pieces that make it so much fun. And while this is what's traditionally a, a standard squid jig, the cloth body to it, the weight on the nose, the very sharp prongs at the back, but the new Ocado works on a totally different concept. It's a very buoyant body, comes in a great range of colors, but one great thing about it, it enables you to use different weights so you can use the jig for different situations. One jig you can fish in very shallow water by very simply getting a small weight. They come with two to the packet, small weight like this. It goes on the nose, just like that. It actually gives it a bit of movement and as that goes through the water, every time we work that jig, it gives a little sort of clicking sound, which people say sounds like a prawn. If we move out to deeper water or I need to cast further, simply take that little weight off put the heavier weight on the nose and you're again fishing and you've got the bigger weight that's going to get that jig down deeper. From there, it's a very simple matter of this clip straight through the nose, close it up, just like that, we're ready to go fishing. It gives the jig a perfect sinking action too because the weight keeps off the body, the body's buoyant, lets it sink at about 55 degrees, which is so important in a good squid jig. The other bonus is the good quality cloth and the nice, sharp stainless steel prongs. Very, very important to catching more squid, just like a sharp hook is when you're bait fishing or lure fishing. Anyhow, I'll put this on and we'll get fishing. Just like all fishing, squid do respond to tide changes. We're coming up towards a high tide change at the moment. There we go. And it's just about fishing smart. Big squid, yeah, they can be pretty smart when they want to and they will feed really well on those tide changes. So if you can fish around those prime times, you find yourself in the action. Got a bit of weight, this guy. There we go, I'll just take it easy. He's actually sort of coming up high in the water column. So just putting the rod low, like you would with a fly rod, helps to keep him down in the water, stops it from getting upset because he's sort of breaking the surface. These big guys, they feel really heavy because they fill up with water. They work on water propulsion. When they fill up with water, you're sort of dragging anything up to a couple of kilos of extra weight. There we go, he's a nice one. Certainly not as big as they grow, but I will take a solid calamari like that any day. I'll be right to grab that guy. There we go. Easiest thing too with the squid. If he's not in the right position, you just sort of slide him around. And then just in from behind like that. There you go. Point the head away from you. Unless you want to point it at your mate. But that is about as good as it gets. Big fat southern calamari. <laughs> 